It's great to be at this event, which is a Microsoft event for IT experts from across Poland. Super exciting to be in the same room as so many IT professionals based in Poland where we can share with them our technology, the technology that is enabling AI to really flourish and grow. AMD currently, we are we're proud to have what we believe is the broadest AI portfolio in the market. And what I mean by that is we have AI capability from the edge all the way through to the data centers and then high performance computers and supercomputers. I think we all agree that we're at the very beginning of this AI journey. And it's important that as we continue on the journey, we have the technology that can unlock this AI power. So today, the silicon is, is where it needs to be and the applications are being created today to uh, leverage the power from that silicon. Uh, I think historically, if you mention AI to anybody, they'll talk about the applications that they currently use based in the cloud. As we move forward, more of those applications are being brought down to the edge. And it's important that you have a device on the edge that is capable of running those, those new applications. Um, why is it being brought from the cloud to the edge, you may ask? It's quite simple. It's for lower latency. It's for security. Um, and it's so people can personalize it. Um, and it, those three things are easier to do when it's actually on the edge. So if you're buying a PC today, I think the most important thing you have to you have to future-proof yourself. You know, there are more applications being released every single day to utilize the power that we now have. So I believe it would be a mistake to buy a PC that wasn't AI enabled. If you're an enterprise buying many hundreds or thousands of devices to, to make that huge investment into hardware and then have to refresh again in 12 to 18 months, is not good for any financial director. So future-proofing, buy the device today that is going to be, that's gonna see you through the upcoming technologies in the, in the coming 18 months, two years.